Good morning. <clears throat> the most welcome to the kitchen. It's seven o'clock, and I want to make a, to make breakfast. This is potatoes. The ones I came with it from Kenya. I want to cook African traditional healthy breakfast. This is sweet potato. Okay. I'm just trying to peel. And this is yam. This is yam. I hope I'm being seen properly. So I want to finish. Uh, I let it cook as I take my children to kindergarten. And then I come and eat. Actually, none of my children like this uh, <coughs> sweet potatoes. Baba can try it, but Leonard is not into it so much. <coughs> Sorry for my voice, I just woke up. And today it's not working day, so I have time. How are you people doing? How is everything? How is life? out there on my on our side we are fine we thank god and um yeah so this one i'll eat at least today tomorrow and maybe the day after tomorrow all right and by the way, if you're coming across this channel for the first time, my name is Anne, an African-Kenyan woman based in Germany. And I do share my lifestyle in the village as an African woman in Germany, okay? And if you like the channel or you want to know more about it, uh, just subscribe and be part of an, um, our community, uh, YouTube community. Actually, it's free. You don't pay anything. You just smash that red button and then you give the video a thumbs up and yeah, we continue. So I'm just peeling. This is actually what we have uh, always at home for breakfast. Bread, when we have bread, it's just um, just by the way. But uh, this is, normally it used to be believed as food for the poor. But nowadays, it has become even expensive because even the rich have started eating it, you know. So they're making our life in the village so hard because it's now on a higher demand, you know. It's really high. They sell it expensive nowadays. It used to be very cheap, very, very cheap and affordable. But since people are... Afeshola, bring your cup. Um, Good morning, Diogo. Um, excuse me, I cannot eat that. Leave it, Dioba. Good morning. You did not even tell Mama good morning. You've not removed your, your pajama, darling. You've not brushed your teeth. That I need to wipe. Yeah, and then you've not even put, uh, dressed for your kindergarten uh, clothes. It is cold. What is called? It's called today. Yes. So you want to, to wear a long sleeve? No, I can use a t shirt. The t shirt? And with a, with a, with a blouse. Okay. All right. So I washed already. I need to put salt. I also measure with my eyes. Water. And then 
I leave it Boil cooking. Boil it. Boil, yes. I leave it cooking and... Boil it! <coughs> I also want to make uh, African tea. African tea Papa, together with it. Me. Yeah. Also boil. Baba, bring the cup. Papa, Papa is not giving you. No. Okay, use this one, okay? Yes, 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 yes. Bye, Did you tell bye, people bye. good morning? Bye. Bye. Tell people bye. what you want to do. Bye. Where are you going? School. You have not started school, Yoba. Mama, school has kindergarten. Kindergarten, really? Oh, like yeah. a Danny. Yeah. Baba, don't miss it, okay? Go to the sitting room now. Lioba, take your, your, your juice. Go to the sitting room and drink it. We need to go to kindergarten. Mama is first. Go and take it, please. So this one, when I, I was I, I was home, this uh, pill, normally I uh, we do dry it, okay? We dry it, and then we burn it. Can you please remove? Yeah, I'm coming to remove. Finish your juice first. We dry it. Excuse me, man. Already finished. Are you already done with your juice? Yes. Okay, dress up. I'm coming. All right. And brush your teeth also, okay? All right. Yeah. So, uh, we dry it. Sorry for interruption, okay? We we dry it outside. And then um, we burn it. We burn. And we use that ash to cook the food. The ash, we just put inside water. We take something like this, plastic, right? We make some holes and then we put ash inside. It's like a carbo carbonate, like carbonate, yeah? Excuse me, I cannot find my blouse. You take any blouse in your wardrobe, Leo, but please, any blouse. But I cannot find my blouse. Okay, blouse. then I'm coming, okay? Start putting on your trouser. So I put the ash inside, water, and some drop. It will start dropping from here. And I cook it's with it. <laughs> Since I told Lioba to excuse herself when I'm talking, hey, she is coming like two minutes. Excuse me, mama. Excuse me, mama. Excuse me. Anyway, yeah. So the the <clears throat> the water it softens the food. It softens the food. It makes the food soft. And then it um. What else? They say it also strengthens the bones. Some say it weakens the bones, but that's what we've been using. I've never heard of this weakening. I just came to hear it on internet, that it weakens. But uh, we live long. Like you saw my, my aunt, 84, and she's still strong. And she used that one on her daily basis. So... I don't like always listening to social media shankens, you know. Because social media, they can say anything. Yeah. If you listen to people online, you can hear all sorts of things. All right. So let me prepare my kids. You see, this one was excusing herself. She's going to put on the trouser. But look, she's back here. Libo, what do you want? I need help. Which help? Blouse. Okay. Start putting on your trouser, Lioba. I'm coming. I'm okay. done. Okay? Thank you. want to use that but it's okay I also need to go and change I'm on my pajama so my tea is cooking my people my food is The bathroom together with your clothes, darling. Oh, yeah. Did you see it? <laughs> you forgot? Yes. Okay. So, 
I'm done. Let me throw this uh, waist. And then I also dress up. I'm still on my pajama. And see you later. All right. So my people, my breakfast is ready. And since uh, uh, it's noisy up here, there are some uh, construction going on. Let us just go down. Okay. And then I want to explain to you the reason why I did not go to my dad's grave. Okay. Because people have been asking and asking and I thought it's nice for me just to explain to you people because you are my followers. Okay, let's go down and uh, uh, have a conversation. Alright, I hope I can be seen clear. I'm just trying to see if the light is uh, too much. But here you can see me. I'm sorry for the light, okay? But I hope you can see me. So this is my breakfast and I came... Uh, down here because up uh, there is a lot of uh, construction going on so before i start i'll pray for my tea oh god bless this breakfast before i take it in jesus name amen okay mm. i went home and uh of course i lost my dad and um my dad was not buried at our home my dad had uh three three uh, women, I don't like calling them women, my stepmothers, and uh, only with their women. And okay, according to our tradition, although my, my dad, before he died, glory be to God, he, he was born again. Even me, I don't know the dark side of my dad. I only know the Christian side of my dad because when I was born, he was already a Christian. So only my older uh, siblings, they know the other part of him. But we, we the three of us, I... When I say I, the three of us, it's I, my sister, and uh, my my brother. Okay, so we all, we are the only ones who knows uh, how when he was born again, you know, and we are the last bones. Um, after uh, he had three uh, women, and uh, according to the tradition, they have to bury him uh, uh, where the first woman is, yeah, the first wife, and. As I know my dad, I, I never saw my dad going to this home. I think they were not in good terms. Not I think they were not in good terms because I never saw them talking. I never saw I never saw them doing anything. You know, it was just now since my mom died, for the people who come from Africa and you know how polygamous is tough, that was our life, you know. It was so tough. In fact, we always say in my language, uh embali hali loco. That one means uh, polygamous, it's like witchcraft, you know, because these uh, people, they will also, they will always put hurt on children, despite the fact these children, that they don't have, uh, they, they are not to be blamed because we are born and then you don't choose where to be born. You get it. So uh, for the 30 years plus I was home. My dad, the one, I was never in that home, but unfortunately, they had to bury him. And even my dad's wish was to be buried at home because uh, where we are now. And my mother died a long time ago when I was only 11 years, and uh, my dad was there for us. He never went to live with the, with the other mothers. He was there for us. My dad was there for us. He was there for uh, for the three of us. He was really protecting us because he knew the kind of women he has in life. He protected the three of us, you know. Why am I saying three of us? Even on the video, some people have been asking me, are, they, are, are those uh, sisters of yours blood sister? Yes, they are my blood sister. We share the same mother, but different father, right? So uh, to my dad, we are three, but my dad has other children. So in, in total, my dad has 28 children, but to my mom, he only had three children. I, my brother, and uh, my sister, you know, and we are the last born. So that's most of the time you've been hearing on my video. I say my sisters, they are like our mother, you know, they are like our mother. Although we've not been with them um for long because they got married but they were always checking on us they were always checking on us they were always there for us you know that's why i really love my sisters i love them so much and i'm ready to do anything for them uh the only gift i can do to my sister is to help their children and for sure i have helped uh, my children and my sisters 
uh, by educating their children, you know, and some of, uh, of them, their children have now started working, you know, and others have just uh, graduated uh, the university. So that is the gift I can give my sister. If my sister did not go to school, so at least their children are learning, you know, at least their children are learning. And that is my, my joy, you know, that is my joy. That is my joy. That is the only gift I can give to my sisters. And now, uh, the reason why I never went to my my dad's uh, uh, grave is they never liked us, especially me, because I look like my mother. So I was a threat in the family, you know, because I'm the only child who looks like my mother. I'm the tallest in the family. Um, everything, talking and, um, you know, so... Of course, if you had a problem with, the, with your co-wife and then this co-wife give birth to the same person as you, even though you are not there. So, um, and they were, they, you know, that's why we always say God is not your neighbor. I'm the person who was mostly attacked, the person whom they thought my life will be so bad. They talked so bad. They say how I'll give birth uh, give birth to uh, at my teenage age they say i will never get married and believe me i'm the now to the uh, girls i'm the only woman who did a wedding in my family out of all those 28 children right and then my brother so in our house let me say in our house i i, I did a wedding and my brother also did a wedding you know but they thought our life is gone but God had a second chance for us, you know. Why am I saying this? I'm just, you know, I don't like talking about family issues so much online. But this is just an encouragement to someone out there who come from a polygamous family. Because they always believe if you come from a polygamous family, you can never make it. Believe me, you can make it. You can make it. As long as you believe in God, do not ever put yourself into these witchcraft things, into, you know, they, if they do witchcraft and you've never stepped there, believe me, it will never touch you. So since my dad was buried in that uh, a home, I didn't have that strength to go there because myself, I've never been to that home. Where am I going to get the strength to go and stand uh, on, my, on my dad's grave on the ground that I've never been there? My dad himself was really protecting us not to go to people's home. He had a reason. I cannot lift my mouth and say that was a, this and this. No, but my dad had a reason why he protected us. We never went to any of my stepmom. Never. Never, 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 never. Even when they were going to bury my, my dad, by the way, my sisters did not go to the graveyard, you know, because that's uh, when th many things, bad things always happen when uh, you bury someone. You see, we just got the report. My dad could not fit on the graveyard, or we could not fit on the on the what is this? Is it the uh, we, what do we call it? Shimo the the hole he not did not fit. They had again to start doing. So that is not normal. You build you build someone. Uh, you build a grave. You want to put someone inside, and then the the. Geneza, my God, my English is gone. The what, the, what is it called? The casket refused to get inside. You get it. So that was just an indication. This man did not really want to be buried there, but who has the power? Anyway, that, is, that was a dead body. You can do nothing with it. People, if, and the most sweetest thing in my community is the dead bodies, uh, the dead body. They really fight for this body. And when somebody was alive, they never come to fight for him. But when he's dead, he's really sweet. So I'm 100% sure if someone just went and say, no, we cannot do this. It would be a fight there. And now, glory be to God, in my family, we didn't have anybody who wanted to fight for that. For that. So they just let it go. So that is one of the reasons that I did not go to my dad's grave because I was really avoiding a lot of things i was really avoiding a lot of conflict because some of the my sisters i saw them 
my stepsisters, I saw them some 20 years ago, you know. They always just come to my, uh, now like the way I'm on social media now, they always reach out, but I've not met them in person. Leave alone. I mean the other stepsister. Why? I have no other, uh, I have no reason why we were we apart like that, you know. My dad tried to brought to bring us together, but they just refused like completely. They were saying uh, my dad was just on our side, of which it's true. He was on our side because we were the youngest ones, you know. Others were older. They were older. I mean, my stepsisters, and they hate the mother. They hate their mothers, you know. But we didn't have mother. We only had my dad. And my dad refused because even my aunties wanted to take us. My dad refused. He said, no, my children are not going anywhere. I love their mothers and I'm going, I love their mother and we, I'm going to be there for my children. And he took us to the best schools, to be honest. He took us to the best school, okay? Sometimes we could go without food, but we are in the best school. That is what my dad did, you know? We were staying, he was a doctor, yes. And then remember, he educated all the children. None of my sibling has not gone to school. He never invested in the estates, buying these cars, buying the land. No, he invested in educating us. And that's what, what was really draining, you know. So um, sometimes we could go without food, you know, because he has to supply the small money he's getting. And when he has gone for like uh, uh, this uh, out to work, we can, we can, we just stay alone. We were just the three of us, children alone, uh, 11 years, 10 years, nine years, you know, uh, children. And then we were taking care of us. So we have to calculate if this food is not going to be uh, enough until the day my dad will come back, then we will go hungry, you know, and that's how we survived. All right. So I hope I've explained the reason why I didn't go to my dad's grave and I'm not condemning myself because I had enough time with my dad. I had best moment with my dad. I enjoy all the life with my dad. I gave my dad what he wanted. So I'm never blaming myself. And uh, we stay with him until he was 83 or 84 years. So for us, even before he died, the, the, the same week we talked. So I had all his blessing and he was praying for us he was really praying for us and you know we have the strongest thing we have on this planet earth is a prayer from a parent if you pray for your children believe me they will have the best life in this world and that's what i have in my heart my dad's prayers have carried me to reach where i am today otherwise thank you so much Kindly give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And uh, yeah, let me have my breakfast, okay? See you in the next one.